Tina James and the Atlantic hurricane season for 2025 officially began on Sunday and runs until November 30th. Now, during this time, those tropical waves we closely monitor have the potential to develop into a tropical cyclone and gain any one of these names. So we need to stay prepared for any possible impacts to our area of interest, which includes Trinidad and Tobago, the Eastern Caribbean, and to a broader extent, the wider Caribbean. Now this season, the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service has projected that we could see between one and five name storms, between zero and two hurricanes, and one major hurricane affecting our region. Now, in the event that these tropical waves strengthen and could turn into cyclones, here are some key steps to get ready. Firstly, make sure your emergency kits are fully stocked, not just with medication, but also with non-perishable food, water, flashlights in case of power outages, and batteries for your radios and flashlights. Use this slightly drier week to check your roofs for leaks and repair them and secure any loose objects around your property. Now, it is also a great time to review your emergency plan so that everyone in your home or even your neighborhood and your workplace knows the safest routes and to shelters and has all the emergency contact information at hand. And finally, stay up to date with all official updates from us, TTT Live Online, the ODPM, Tima in Tobago, and any other trusted agency. Now, turning to conditions today, the most notable feature was the thick blanket of Saharan dust, with concentrations now in the red or high range. Now, this is not just impacting us here in Trinidad and Tobago, but most of the Caribbean is under a hazy spell. Now, this dry, dusty air brought mostly hazy sunshine across both of our islands today. Unfortunately, this high concentration of dust will remain the main feature, not just tonight, but for much of Tuesday as well. So if you are sensitive to reduced air quality, take precautions, wear masks, use air purifiers, and keep doors and windows closed as much as possible. But for tonight, expect more of the same hazy and breezy conditions with the possibility of a brisk shower or two across both islands. Currently, our temperatures are pretty warm in the upper 20s, but they can dip to a warm 26 degrees in Trinidad and an even warmer 27 degrees over in Tobago. Now, as we head into Tuesday, we look at sunrise at 5.43 a.m. in Trinidad and 5.39 a.m. over in Tobago with sunset at 6.26 p.m. in Trinidad and 6.23 p.m. over in Tobago. Now, for Tuesday, you can expect similar conditions to today. A few periods of those clouds, but the main feature, again, hazy and dull sunshine with the breezy conditions and the chance of a few brief showers. Daytime highs are forecast to reach 32 degrees in Trinidad, and it could peak at 31 over in Tobago. As for our seas, conditions will persist within that moderate range with waves up to two meters in open waters and up to 1.5 meters in sheltered areas, along with easterly winds moving at speeds of five to 35 kilometers per hour. Now, here's a quick look at our tides for Tuesday for both islands. And as we continue into this Atlantic hurricane season, remember, be prepared, stay up to date, and most importantly, stay safe.